Money, money, money. Hey everybody, welcome back to Whistle Thicket. Tom here. I'm gonna share what I do with my money on YouTube. Okay, okay, I gotta be honest with you. I don't make this much money on YouTube. I'm a small YouTube homesteader. I don't make this much money per month. I make a little bit of money, uh, but not a lot. But I'm gonna tell you what I do and how it keeps me motivated to keep going because I know there's a lot of people out there with YouTube channels, and I like to call them in-betweeners. You're monetized, you've been doing this for a couple of years, you're making a little bit of money, but not a lot of money. Um, there's lots of folks that turn YouTube into a full-time job and they love it. I'm not there yet, and even if I was ever there, I don't think I would be there, because I really love my job as a teacher. But uh, I'm going to talk about how I stay motivated and, and uh, how I keep going. Yeah, baby! I am not a YouTube star. I repeat, I am not a YouTube star. I did not buy our farm with YouTube money. But hey, some of this hay, not all of this hay, some of this hay was bought with YouTube money, people. That's right. We got about 30-something uh, bales of hay in here. And some of this hay was bought using YouTube money. So let's be honest, people. YouTube is not easy. It's fun. It's not easy. There are a lot of YouTube channels that have seen a lot of success. And I am very happy for those people. Um, some of them I follow. Um, some of them inspire me. The worst thing you can do on YouTube as another YouTuber is get jealous of people. Uh, that's not a way to live in general. Um, I know there are people out there that get jealous of other channels. Like, why ain't my channel more successful? Why isn't my channel more successful? Um, I've been doing YouTube for almost five years now. Have about 12,000 subscribers, a little less than that. Um, for me, YouTube has turned into a passionate hobby. And I am totally, totally okay with that. Um, I'm having fun. Most of my views on a typical video, I might get 50 to 100 views in the first uh, two or three days. And then after that, uh, sometimes I don't get any views on that uh, video. Um, I do have a few successful videos. Um, our biggest video, I think, was, uh, uh, I don't know... Will horses accept donkey? Something like that. Over 200,000 views on that. Uh, that's probably our biggest success as far as views. And then I got some other uh, videos that are in the 100,000s, 50K, 40K, 30K. So I am what I think most people would say uh, an in-betweener when it comes to YouTube. Um, I'm not somebody that's making an income off YouTube. I probably never will be. I'm okay with that, people. And I'm also someone that, you know, I'm monetized, I'm making a little bit of money, and uh, I'm just kind of in between. And I am totally okay with that. I don't live my life to, uh, just to make money. My dad always says it's better to be a man of value than a man of money. But if you can be both, why not, right? Um, so that's what it comes down to it. Um, I do make some money on YouTube actually thousands on YouTube, uh, thousands of pennies, people, <laughs> 
Uh, I don't make much money on YouTube, uh, but I do make some enough to do something with it. So I'm going to talk about uh, how I stay motivated and how I keep going, even though it's been five years and I'm making a little bit of money, but not a lot. But a little bit can add up if you use it in the right way. So as we're walking, you'll probably see the remnants of this snowstorm. We had about 11 inches. Uh, probably the biggest storm we've had in about three or four years at least. It was supposed to be a much bigger snowstorm, but uh, I mean, you know, 11 inches is still decent. Uh, school's been out for a couple days actually, and I'm a school teacher. So uh, that kind of, I guess, brings me to a point. Uh, this farm was bought about four or five years before I even started YouTube. Uh, my wife and I both have college degrees, master's degrees, worked hard to do that. I've been uh, a science educator for over 20 years. That's how I make my bread and butter. That's what I enjoy doing. Um, even if I were to uh, become more successful on YouTube, um, I don't think I would quit teaching because uh, I enjoy it. It's fun. Um, I know I'm doing something good for my community, um, for uh, my area in general. So even if I were to be more successful on YouTube one day, I don't think it would significantly change my life. And that money you saw earlier, that opening scene, I carry no cash, people. I have no cash in my wallet. But that was real money. Um, that was money to uh, purchase my Kawasaki Mule. This is a 2006, nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. It's made a big difference on the farm. That's why I had that money out because I had to go to the bank and get cash out to uh, pay for this mule in cold hard cash. Uh, probably the most money I've had in my hand ever. And uh, yeah, so um, that's what all that money was about. Um, like I said, I've been on YouTube for about five years. It took me close to six months to get monetized, maybe five months. And they were about to change the rules. And right at the last second, um, you needed like a thousand subscribers. I put out one video and it got me like 400 subscribers overnight almost. It was crazy and I made the deadline by like a week. Uh, and since then I know they've changed the um, rules to become monetized. So at first I wasn't making much money, but this is how I've stayed motivated. I use my money that I make from YouTube for a purpose. I make a goal for myself. At first, I think it was, I'm taking my family out to dinner. I take my family out to the movies. And then it grew and grew. It went to, we're going camping for a weekend. Um, or I'm going to buy a new tool this month. So basically, I for the most part, I use my YouTube money for two purposes. One, I use it back on the homestead. Um, two, I use it for family vacations. That's what I mainly use my money for, our family vacations. And that really has made a difference. Um, we've gone to Florida several times over the last couple years. The first couple times, YouTube did not pay for the trip. Um, but it paid for a day or two of the trip. Um, and then the second time we went, I think it paid for our plane tickets and an extra day at the amusement park. Now, could I have afforded these trips without it? Probably, but I'd be pinching more pennies. Um, so it really has helped my family have some good experiences and some family experiences. Uh, last summer, actually, I saved my um, YouTube money for uh, most of the year, and I was able to pay for a seven-day trip to Florida. We drove this time. 100% uh, paid for it with YouTube money. It was a really big deal. I even uh, was able to have my parents come down. We got a little beach house, literally right on the beach. Um, my mom and dad had never flown before, so they flew for the first time. 
uh, they had never seen the ocean and then suddenly they had uh, six or seven days um, at a little beach house right on the ocean and I know they really loved it they really appreciated it uh, that was several months ago I haven't shown you any footage but hey now it's time Go in the ocean, son. You ready? Ah! We're in the ocean, bud. Mm -mm. Yeah. We're in the ocean. Mm. You wanna go deeper? Okay. <clears throat> I will admit there are times that uh, sometimes it's tough at the end of the month. You typically get paid like the second to last week of the month. There have been uh, some times where, hey, I need to pay a bill or I needed a little extra gas money or something like that or other expenses. Sometimes I roll it in to Christmas money or something. Uh, but for the most part, I'm pretty good at keeping my YouTube money separate. Um, that's my biggest advice. Make a goal for what the money you earn from YouTube is gonna be used for. For us small creators that only have, you know, a little bit of success. Of course, success depends on uh, how you define it. Um, it's hard to stay motivated if you're trying to make money, right? Um, I make money on the farm through selling honey, beeswax, candles a little bit. Um, I got some other ideas to make more money on the farm. Uh, with propagating plants, with elderberry cuttings, pawpaw. I've sold pawpaw fruit before. Um, I'm doing more woodworking. So for me, um, I'm probably going to make more money this year selling farm products than I will from YouTube. And that's okay because you know what? I m moved to the farm with my family to enjoy farm life. I'm always gonna be a uh, homesteader first and a YouTuber second, regardless of what happens. Um, now, follow me on this, people. Sometimes I almost feel not sorry for successful YouTubers, but when you get so big, you almost have to keep doing it because you're making so much money. And I know YouTube, uh, it can sometimes be stressful. There's people that, you know, are sharing their entire lives. I'm not sharing my entire life with you people. Are you kidding me? Um, but I think it can almost be a lot of people get onto YouTube to escape the rat race. But sometimes you can be caught in a totally new, different rat race called YouTube people. Um, you got to also remember that YouTube uh, is owned uh, by Google biggest corporation in the world so you can't really be anti-corporation anti-big business if you have a youtube channel people it just doesn't work that way um so i hope you enjoyed just kind of learning what i do with my youtube money um i'm having fun i got no plans to quit i'm gonna keep going it's a passionate hobby um i enjoy sharing a lot of what i do on the farm with you if you've enjoyed this video and you want to keep seeing some of the things I'm doing on the farm uh, in 2022 and beyond, go ahead, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next video.